like to thank everyone for being here. For those who don't know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm born and raised right here in Bakersfield. And I'll be the first one to tell you that Kern County is an amazing place to live and work. And we are a proud community of faith, family, and, and, and service. And I'm committed to fighting for our way of life. My grandfather started with nothing and worked day in and day out to build a life for his family. And my father, who is a local pharmacist, always stressed the importance of helping others and giving back. And it was through those strong role models that I learned the values of hard work, and personal responsibility. They didn't rely on government, but rather on personal initiative, and they always reminded us how lucky we were to live and grow up in America with the opportunities they provided. Now, unfortunately today, that dream has become less and less attainable for good, honest, hardworking Californians who just want to better the lives of their families. I have worked for years on the issues facing the Central Valley, and have watched as decisions are made that threaten that way of life. Now, whether it's halting energy production, or drying up water supplies, uh, or, or, or moving forward with, with projects like the high-speed rail that just waste taxpayer money, Sacramento simply does not have our best interests in mind. And that's why now more than ever, we need to send problem solvers to Sacramento. And I'm running for the State Assembly so that I can be that strong advocate for our community and our values. Now, as, as your Assemblyman, I will fight for water, I will fight for lower taxes, I will fight for limited government, I will work to ensure that our kids receive the education they deserve, and that small businesses have the room they need to grow and create jobs. So I'm proud to call Kern County my home. I wanna make sure that all Californians have an opportunity to get ahead, but I can't do it alone. And I hope you'll join me, as well as leaders like Kevin McCarthy, Gene Fuller, Shannon Grove, uh, uh, Sheriff Tony Youngblood, uh, people here, uh, um, and everyone that we just all need to get, we all need to join together and fight for, the, for our way of life and fight for the Central Valley. Thank you very much. Yeah. We obviously have to uh, use every tool at our disposal. In terms of water, you know, we obviously need to get the governor uh, to engage in terms of supporting a lot of the efforts uh, that are going on. Obviously, uh, I've worked side by side with Kevin in trying to get the water legislation, uh, you know, accomplished in. Um, uh, in Washington, where you know, trying to capture uh, the water that's coming from these storms, you know, we've obviously missed that opportunity right now. But I think we obviously need to have a, a voice there that can, can remind the governor that this is important. That you know, uh, you know, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of the food, the majority of the food that's grown, the fruits, uh, the, the fruits and nuts that are that are grown in California and the nation are grown here, and there's a huge economic impact. Uh, obviously, we have to look at you know maybe you know pursuing an initiative. In terms of uh, whether taking some of the money from the high-speed rail bonds or not all of it, uh, and putting it toward you know water storage facilities and, and reservoirs, um, you know we obviously need someone to champion that, and that's an that's an, that's an avenue that I think is being pursued by other legislators, but also can be pursued by myself. I think there are there are obviously um, some legislators that that obviously um, may agree with us on some of those issues. We just have to find those uh, those those issues that may work, and we're not going to agree on it, everything. But I think we have to be very forceful in terms of we can allow you know uh, politicians from San Francisco and LA to, to dictate the policies and the decisions we make here. Central Valley needs to have a voice and I intend to be a strong voice for, for our community.